Cheers, welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, it's time, a little unveiling. Okay, so my Ciro Crusher, two roller system. It has seen better days. It's spitting grains out and not doing its job and the rollers just aren't grabbing the grain and I've got to almost force them through. It's frustrating, it's upsetting. This thing has done great for about a hundred bucks for almost 10 years. You're talking $10 a year ROI, I'm good on that. So what did I buy? Why did I buy it? Well, it was between the two geared three roller systems. They were identical. One was on more beer. They had a deal. It was probably cheaper on more beer than it was on Amazon, but one had a slightly bigger hopper. And I'm like, bring on the upgrades. Yes, I got the Brewland three roller grain mill. Let me show you. And yes, it's heavy. So let's take this out and see what I got. Hopefully nothing's damaged and we're all good. I'll speed up any boring parts. Well, first of all, right on the top, we have instructions on how to build it. Always good in today's day and age. Usually you just got a QR code and you're like, scan. Okay, it's supposed to be a 13 pound hopper. It probably is. It probably is. And you know what? It looks just like my seven pound, but a little wider. I mean, literally just a tiny bit wider. So for them to go from a seven pound to a 13, which was my big thing between the Mighty Malt and the Brewland, they literally just made two pieces bigger. And of course, you know, adjust it so the screws would line up. But yeah, these are just slightly larger. So I'm thinking the cost there for them was extremely minor. So, but for me, I don't have to keep dumping as many grains in over and over. We've got what looks like the little rubber piece that goes around the edge. We've got some screws. We've got something I didn't have in the cereal crusher, which is kind of cool, but it's a little guard. So if you know, you're too stupid and you try to put your fingers in between the rollers, this will keep you from, you know, well, it'll protect you from yourself. Yeah. I thought it was funny that they started putting these on things. I guess they've had people trying to sue them for being a Darwin award winner. Okay. We've got this. Take this, put it in a box somewhere. You won't need it. Get a drill. If unless you want to build up your arm muscles. Yeah. Yeah. Don't waste your time. Okay. Lots of big pieces of foam, cushy foam. Oh man, this thing's heavy. Compared to my old one, this is a lot heavier. Oh, the rollers, the rollers look a little bigger too. Now, I will tell you the negative I heard on the reviews for this thing, and I already have a fix, so I'm not worried. Oh, okay, we're gonna get the box out of the way because this thing's heavy. Okay, it is metal. I don't know how that's gonna work with any kind of dust. I hope it'll keep most of the dust out. It is a three roller. There's a single roller and then there's two rollers. There's knobs. I can just turn the knob to adjust and then I have to tighten these down. So what you have to do is you loosen these. That allows the rollers to move freely. You adjust your knobs. You set it on both sides. You tighten it down. I don't know, I'll try it, but supposedly these over time will move a little and allow your rollers to move, which will set off your adjustments. If that becomes the case, I can either take the ones off my old one or I can buy some that have the locking nut and just use that and I won't have any more problems. So I'm not really worried about that. So this is our system. I mean, wow, looks beautiful, super heavy, really large, hurting my back. So let's see if we can't get this built. And like I said, I'll speed some things up if I need to. First thing first, I'm gonna need to get a screwdriver. Hey, look, same thing I'm gonna use to crush the malts. I can use as a screwdriver. I did see something recently in a forum, which while I was doing the research on these things, somebody asked about washing these. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you got to clean them, get yourself either a bristly, you know, metal or hard plastic brush and just clean the rollers. Don't wash it. Don't add water to it. Especially if you're doing some that do the, the heat it where it's not whatever and it can corrode. Uh, just don't do it. Yeah, no, no, okay. Let's speed this up. You can take the blue stuff off or you can leave it. I'm gonna take it off because I don't want it to eventually kind of chafe and break off into my malts. Okay, like I said, it's built. 
I remember on my old one, it came with the blue stuff too. It is a pain to get off. I got it off. It is what it is. I'm gonna leave it on for now. If it starts to bubble, which is what it did on mine after a couple of years, I'll peel it off, not a big deal. It's just hard to line up all four pieces and get them all screwed in just perfectly. Little trick is taking the screws, shoving them into the hole partially and drilling them so they catch and they'll pull everything together. Then you can put the little nuts on the other side. This is a little silicone washer. Um, feels like I need to unravel it and maybe heat it up, but it's gonna sit up here. And honestly, I have mine on. I think it's just to kind of safeguard those little metal edges so you don't sh cut yourself, you know, they're a little sharp. I'm not gonna say they're razor sharp, but if you hit them hard enough in the right way, you could. I'll deal with that later. I'm not gonna worry about it. Other thing I left out because it was such a pain to put together is this little guard. Yeah, this is a Darwin guard. If you're looking to get a Darwin award or you're, I'm accident prone, more with heat, but yeah, I don't put my fingers in there. I am terrified of paper cutters, big giant paper cutters. Almost took my finger off when I was much younger. So yeah, here's what it looks like inside. It's just a tiny little opening and that's where your malts are gonna go and get crushed. I'm gonna go ahead, get this thing set up and I'm gonna use it tomorrow cause I'm gonna be brewing and I'm excited. A little bit bigger hopper, 13 pounds instead of seven. Not much different in size. Like I said, two pieces are almost identical. The others are just wider. So it just, it's kind of like, you know, the whole martini glass. You get it almost full and you fill it up and it's almost twice as much on that top half. So I'm excited. I'm gonna get everything set. I'm gonna be playing with it tomorrow. I'll be using my Ryobi drill. And if you have any questions about grain mills, if you just wanna know how I like this thing, because by the time you see this video, I've used it at least once, if not two or three times, don't forget in the comments, but like, subscribe, keep sharing. I'm gonna go enjoy another brew. Cheers.